What's going on, friends? Ryan Dorn here, your friendly neighborhood sales coach. This week, we're talking about goal setting, but more importantly, exceeding your goals. Now, those of you that were smart enough to watch this video or listen to the podcast, you're going to walk away with a golden nugget from Ryan Dorn, not a golden ticket, a golden nugget from Ryan Dorn, because I don't talk about this a lot. So listen close and pay attention. Setting goals is easy. Exceeding goals, that's what's hard. Anybody can set a goal. Experts tell us that goals are set uh, by the thousands on New Year's Eve, yet by January the 26th, almost everybody has missed or failed on the goals that they set. Why do people fail at goals? Well, it's because they're missing three key components to getting to that goal and exceeding that goal. The first is mini goals. So you've got a goal and then you've got mini goals to get to the big goal. That's your first piece that you've really got to tackle. So if you say, hey, I'm going to lose weight, you can't just say I'm going to lose weight. You have to have many goals to get to the big goal. The big goal, I'm going to lose 20 pounds. That's a big goal. I mean, 20 pounds is a lot. What are the things that you're going to do, the many goals to get you to the bigger goal? So in terms of losing weight, like I'm not going to drink as much, I'm not going to eat as much, and I'm going to work out a little bit. All three of those things don't sound great. But guess, when you do the mini goals, then you get to the bigger goal. That's the first thing you need to do. Set mini goals to exceed your goals. All right, second thing you've got to do. Why are you doing it? What you're doing is easy. But why you're doing it is so unbelievably important. Like, why do you want to lose weight? Why do you want to get to your sales goal? What does it mean to you? Like, for example, if, if I was going to lose some weight, what it would mean to me is like my knees wouldn't hurt as much. I could fit into those sexy shorts that I want to wear for the summertime, <laughs> whatever the circumstance is. Um, I would just be happier. The why is way more important than the what. The what is easy. Like anybody can say, this is my goal that I want to do, but, well, but, but why? Why do you want to do it? Are you trying to reach your sales goal? The why might be so you can go on a better vacation. The why might be because you want to send your kid to a better school. Because you want to send your kid to a better school. You're putting money aside for retirement. Without a why, all you got is a what. And a what, anybody can do that. A what is pretty boring. Okay? So the first is mini goals. Set your mini goals. The second is why are you going to do it? And then the third is the one that most people don't want to deal with. And that is a lack of accountability. You know, you don't want to hear it, but most people need an accountability buddy. Like, when do you get the biggest muscles? With a trainer or without a trainer? Almost always with a trainer. When do you lose the greatest amount of weight? When your spouse, partner, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever is working with you or when you do it on your own? Almost always when you work with some type of partner. Now, a lot of you, you've already, you're going to stop the podcast or the videos at this point because you're like, I don't need, I don't need any help. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Because I need help. And I'm clearly not perfect. I've got a lot of things that I need. You need accountability. Now, your accountability partner could be your calendar. It could be using a tracking device. Um, it could be, you know, you writing things on a whiteboard. It could be a calendar. But all those things, friends, will pair in pale, pale in comparison to you actually having some type of accountability buddy. Maybe you need a sales coach. Maybe you need a business coach. Now, you've got to be careful about who is your accountability buddy. Now, I happen to be fortunate. I've got a great wife. We've been married 28 years. And trust me, if needed, she will hold me accountable. If I'd ask for the help, I'm careful about that one. I and mean, you should be too. Maybe your boss is not your best, your boss. Maybe your boss is not your best accountability buddy, but it, it could be somebody at work. Very rarely. Will somebody at work turn you down like, no, I'm not going to help you. Nah, I'm not going to be your accountability buddy. Hey, it could be your priest. It could be your chaplain. It could be your therapist. I mean, all these type of people. Friends, there are people out there. There's apps out there. There's all kinds of technology to help keep you accountable. So the three components of not just setting a goal, but exceeding a goal. Number one, you got to have little mini goals okay, to get to it. What you're doing is easy. The second, you need the mini goals to get there. The second thing that you've really got to be focused on is why are you doing it? Really focus in friends and identify why are you doing this goal? Why is it core to you to be successful, to exceed that goal? And the third thing is 
you need an accountability buddy. So sometimes you have to pay for an accountability buddy. You need an accountability buddy or an accountability mechanism to be successful. Now, friends, I'm fortunate. I'm a goal setter. I set those mini goals. I know why I'm doing it. And I've got several great accountability buddies. And by the way, some of those folks, I actually pay to be my accountability buddy. I've got a business coach. I've got, I'm not, I'm not uh, ashamed to say I've got a business coach. I've got a therapist that I talk to. I've got people I talk to. It's okay to have accountability in your life. It almost always is going to get you further faster. Now, what's interesting about goals is that a lot of people think they're great at it because you're good at goal setting, but are you good at exceeding your goals? Those are the three core principles, friends, that are very important for you to be successful in not just meeting your goals, but blowing the ceiling off it and exceeding those goals. Now, as it relates to your sales life, sales life, friends, goals are everything, not just your sales goals, but all the goals for CRM usage, for how many meetings that you're going to have, for how many prospects that you're going to have. All of those are goal oriented and you need to be a goal setting but a goal exceeding machine. Never forget friends, if sales was easy, everybody would be doing it and they're not. We're not crazy. I mean, I guess we're a little bit crazy, but this is a great career friends. I love sales and marketing. It's gonna feed your family for a lifetime, I promise. Hey, we could talk all day about exceeding, exceeding your goals and I'd love to come to your office, to your sales meeting. Let's pump your folks up and get them excited about being a sales success. If I can help you, reach out to me over at ryandorn.com.